MEG or magnetoencephalography is a relatively new tool that's become available to us, uh, which uh, is capable of looking at the magnetic fields generated by the brain and localizing them back on the anatomy of the brain. At this time, Fredericton Medical College of Wisconsin is the only center in Wisconsin which has a clinical MEG program. Uh, we do see uh, patients from not only our um, um, hospital, but other centers as well. Most people are familiar with uh, electroencephalography, or what we call EEG, where you record brain activity or brain waves from um, electrodes that are planted on the scalp. Now, the, there is a substantial amount of tissue and fluid that separates the generators of that electrical activity in the brain and the locations at which we are recording this electrical activity, including tissues such as the skull and scalp. So that can uh, substantially alter uh, the um, view of uh, what we are looking at in the brain, pretty much in the same way that uh, if you're trying to listen to a conversation through a thick wall, you hear muffled sounds. Uh, you may vaguely be able to place people in different parts of the room, but not quite clearly see who spoke from where. Um, so alternative techniques which uh, are not affected by uh, the tissue is of great interest, and MEG is one of them. So it provides us another window to what's happening electrically in the brain, and uh, in the case of patients with epilepsy, it helps us not only localize areas that may be electrically dysfunctional, but also allows us to map certain functions such as language or location of parts of the brain that control your movement or uh, areas that are responsible for receiving sensory information from the body. So a, a variety of uh, functional localization t um, procedures can be performed using MEG uh, as with certain other um, techniques such as fMRI.